The coolest spot in Beijing that is completely the polar opposite of the Forbidden City that is hip, young, sophisticated, and completely unexpected is the 7i8 Art Zone. I'm Julian Wykin, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the district that put Beijing on the world map of contemporary art. The 7i8 Art Zone is colossal. Now, the buildings are works of art in of itself. This site was the site of a former electric factory. It was built in 1952, shortly after the People's Republic of China was founded, and it started operating in 1954. Now, in its heydays, there would be tens and thousands of workers dressed in uniforms roaming this place. There would be steam coming out of all the chimneys, machines clunking away. It was the height of the Industrial Revolution. Yet no one saw this industrial complex would be meant for even greater things. That is to produce something that would keep this colossal country growing, but also to satiate its appetite for cultural and artistic excellence, from made in China to designed in China. In the year 2000, a few Chinese artists brought their studios to this abandoned industrial complex and started what is known today as the 798 Art Zone. Uh, today, this is probably one of the largest and busiest commercial art hubs and communities here in Beijing. If you could only choose one place to see art, it would be the UCCA. Some of the greatest contemporary artists were shown here, and I would even go further as to argue that some of the greatest contemporary Chinese artists were made here. Hey Patrick. Hey Julian, how are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. Well, this is it, right? Yep, this is it. This Hi is Felix. Life. And this is Felix. What do you think makes such make UCCA and 798 such a good match for each other? Well, 798 at its origins, it was rooted in the artists themselves. It was really around the turn of the millennium. It was a grassroots place. So the fact that it was so integrated with Chinese contemporary art history from its very origins, mm -hmm. I think is a very important part of the DNA of 798 and UCCA. So, Catalan, why is he such a favorite with people? You know, that's a good question. This was actually a surprise for us too. We were not anticipating this show to be such a hit. I think it has a lot to do with the sort of immediate visual strikingness of a lot of the works. Mm -hmm. And also for a contemporary artist, he's very funny. You don't see a lot of contemporary artists who deal with humor in that very immediate way like he does. And the other aspect to it, there's sort of two ways of appreciating his work. There's that first moment when you recognize the joke, when you see what's happening, where's that's very exciting and very photogenic. But then there's also a lot of sadness to his work. There's almost kind of a haunting quality to them that sticks with you. Just recently, 798 has also become a hot spot for selfies and photos. Now, in the age of Instagram and social media, photos are the currency. And in a place like this, there is no shortage of that, is there? Now, these are the most iconic buildings of the 798 Art Zone with a classic Bauhaus architecture, airy windows, very functional design, and this was because it was actually built by engineers and scientists from East Germany at the time. And would have guessed that one day this building, one of these buildings right here, would become the center of Deutsch culture, the Goethe Institute. If I had one wish, it would be to travel back in time when 798 Factory was still in its former glory. And that's exactly where this time train is taking me to, the past and the future. Let's hop on board. Hold on, it's going to be a bumpy ride. All right, that's enough. I haven't had this much fun since I was a child. What makes 798 so special is that it makes you realize that art is not a piece of work hanging on the wall. Rather, art is always in the eye of the beholder. If you look at the window, what do you see now? <laughs> 